Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Aquatico. Let me unpause the game. I had it paused here just before starting recording. I see the dreaded exclamation points. Let's see what the problems are currently. This guy is missing plastic. We have 17. Our plastic factory looks like it's not waiting on anybody. I think we had drones inbound, right? Let's see, we have 15 now. Three influence points. Um, that's another thing we could be doing. This guy is waiting on plastic. Yeah, I think we're going to get a batch of plastic coming out of here and it won't be a big deal. We fully upgraded. Yeah, fully upgraded the plastic factory. Looks like it'll take a maximum of two drones. We've got two in there. Production's at 540. That looks good. Let's see what it says up here. Monthly produced 82. Monthly used... <laughs> 136. I'm guessing that's from our construction, not just kind of normal processing needs. Uh, let's see. Battery factory. Yeah, batteries. We were in trouble, right? Monthly produce three. Monthly use 15. This is going to, our drones are going to power down, I imagine, if we don't boost this. It's going to take 15 plastic. I know we're short on plastic. I think we need to do this uh, sooner than later. Otherwise, we are not going to have workers and things are going to grind to a halt. I believe. I believe. I've not played before, so I'm not positive. Uh, boy, everything needs to be ramped up. What are you doing on credits? 1540. Now, there was something about a base directive, right? Let's see if we can do those. Do we have anything? Not yet. Income is 2260 a year. 1000 from the base and 1260 from our residence. We did... Oh, add directives. There it is. Property tax. Oh, it costs us influence. I see. Okay, okay, okay. This is we just unlocked this directive in the tech tree last episode. We get one extra credit per week per house. Let's do it. Boom. That'll get us a little extra cash. Not a lot. But we have the influence points. We may as well use them. Uh speaking of tech tree, let's jump in. Echo Banner, we placed one of those. Drone Factory is done. This is all done. Scrolling. We did just place the Hunter's Lodge. And we placed the um, Fisherman's Hub, too. We had the field we haven't tried yet. Grants us the ability to build agricultural surfaces that produce seaweed and sea cucumbers. Hmm. We could try that. We did the property tax. Let's pay. Oh, we did the uh, raw seafood budgeting too. So that's kind of an efficiency thing. We've got two to do raw seafood production, global improvement that increases the production of raw seafood by 10%. Uh, that's a no brainer. Let's get that going. Exclamation point over here. What do you need? Sponges. We did. Uh, that's the gatherer. Food is declining. That's a concern. We did increase the radius of our sponge collector, but we did not upgrade it. Um, whoop. Okay, I just clicked expansion kind of by accident. Okay, efficiency is based on the amount of sponges in the building's effective radius. I see. Can I add a drone here? Doesn't look like it. I think we, with the automatically assigned workforce is enabled, okay, and it's not possible to manually add or remove workers from the building. That's fine. I think we'll get a drone attached to this soon. Production boost. Uh, should we do it? Yeah, we have the credits. We have the plastic. I'm going to go for it. Probably going to need to place another one of these. Maybe. Maybe even down here we could do one. Let's see about that. Production buildings. We can get this out of the way. 
sponge collector. Trying to leave a little bit of room, at least a block. Let's get another one going. Yeah. Uh, crude oil is perfectly balanced. Batteries. Only three produced per month. I think that's because the resource shortage, right? We did optimization upgrades on this guy. In fact, I can't upgrade anything yet. Probably due to lack of plastic, maybe. 216 a year being produced. So what is that? Almost, almost 20 a month, I guess. Monthly use is 15. That should recover. Okay, HQ is sending us material to help ensure the success of the, in the initial steps of building the colony. Okay, we'll take that plastic. That could be a lifesaver for us. Uh, let's look at our available drones. We only have five idle drones. We have six idle workers. Hmm. A battery factory drone. Kind of thinking we should expand this so we can get another worker in there. Uh, batteries are an issue. Let's do it. Now our efficiency is down. Unused slots for new workforce. Okay. Yeah, hopefully a drone will get assigned to that. That's fully optimized. What are you complaining about? Missing sponges. We have another sponge gatherer here. Whoops, don't pause that one. Sponge collector. Ooh, what is that? Hmm. Build. Oh! This must be, um, maybe make it high priority, I'm guessing. I'll take that. Still have our depot. That's kind of a lower priority. This guy's just waiting on a worker. And we have another oil platform being built to deal with our crude oil. Kind of shortage. Food keeps declining. It keeps declining. I'm not happy about that. We just placed two big food buildings. Small fish, 140 per year. Optimization, definitely tempted to do these. That's gonna reduce the number, the amount of sponges being used. Let's do that. We have a good inventory of sponge, 358. And we have credits. I'm gonna go for these optimizations. I just have a hunch they're gonna pay off. Okay, that is now fully upgraded. And then what do we have going on over here? This guy produces shark, takes oxygen. Yeah, I'm going to keep doing these optimizations. Just have a feeling that these are going to pay off long term. The sooner we get them, the sooner they will pay for themselves, I believe. Still missing sponge. I think this is an issue of transport, not supply. Batteries, I think, is a different situation. Monthly use, 27 batteries. Man. 48. Drone consumption is 18. Monthly used is 27. Man, that seems high. Missing plastic again. I think it's a transport thing. So we may want to... Be careful about doing these expansions, like adding more drones to these buildings, because I think we're short on people to deliver resources. And I could be paying a price for having selected all these resources to be collected. In fact, we've got a lot of plastic. Let's cancel some of this resource, resource gathering that we put in. Cancel gathering on the plastic. Right? Uh, I have a feeling our workers are like out and about. I am going to let them gather the 
Iron and stone, I suppose. Any more plastic? Yeah, let's not gather the plastic. So I'll disable that one. Do we have workers out here doing their thing? No, I don't see anybody out here. But I have a feeling that could be slowing down the delivery of resources into our factories. The fact that I have people way out in the field collecting things. Ooh, this looks cool. What is this over here? Another derelict ship from ages ago sunk. What are these, though? This looks kind of important. What is this? Can I gather it? Let's try. <laughs> I don't think so. What is that? That looks kind of cool. Hmm. Maybe we'll find out. All right. Any more plastic being gathered? Let's bring up the little mini map for a second. Um, I don't see anything. Like I said, I want to keep the iron collection going. I'm willing to have our workers distracted doing that. Just because I don't know how to produce the iron yet myself. Okay, that is on fast forward for construction. We're at single speed. I can double it up. Let's see. Food, tier one variety diver. Diverse food sources equals healthy residents. Producer trade more various edible resources. Okay. Okay, our sponge collector is being kind of 3D printed here by one of our drones. No exclamation points over here anymore. We still have some complaining factories here. Plastic, we have tons. It's just the drone situation. And yeah, this guy just got a delivery of plastic. We got another oil platform being built. Food keeps declining. That's gonna be a big problem for us if we don't resolve it. And this guy, no sponge plant drone in the building. Yeah, workers, workers are an issue. You can see these guys are bringing resources around. Yeah, I think they're in the game. I have it set to automatically assign the drones. I think they're probably holding off on this one because we don't have enough carrier drones. Oh, man. When's our next drone coming? Oh, yeah, let me get off of the resource collection mode here. Battery factory. Here's our drone factory. Next drone in 60 days. We may want to boost this production. Uh, let's do it. Now it's 50 days, so that brought it in by 10 days. It's not great, but it's something. We still have credits. Let's keep the research tree going. Uh, we'll just follow kind of the, the order they're placed. Close shop. Kind of want to take a look in our domes, too. Oh, yeah, we have stuff being built here, too. Oh, man. Plastic. Waiting for a worker. We're short on people. But, man, they're eating the food. The ones we have are eating the food up. That's for sure. Hmm. How can we ramp up the food production? without enough workers to do what we've already got going on. We can do production boost. I think we're stuck. We kind of have to do this, right? Yeah, we have this sponge in inventory. And this takes effect instantly. I don't think we need to wait for drones to go to deliver these, um, the plastic and credits. 
And then where's our original food gatherer? Is that way over here? Big baskets. Okay, we have the plastic. Let's do these upgrades. And now we're chewing through credits. Expansion is going to give us another worker slot. I don't think we should do that, actually. We, we're a little short, I believe, on workers. Yeah, we only have three idle drones, and they're the ones doing the... Well, we have one gatherer drone. Yeah, that's working to gather food for us. One on the oil rig, three at the fuel refineries. Fisherman, sea hunter. Yeah, we only have three that are collecting resources. And it looks like we have six of our seven humans are free. So they're out gathering resources for us. I'm wondering, we have 112 iron. Should I reduce these collections of iron? Let's do it. I'm kind of thinking that resources aren't moving around our our base because we have workers out and about collecting things from far, far away. Let's wait till we're caught up on workers and then we'll maybe reselect these resources for harvesting or for collecting. But we need kind of throughput to improve right inside our base, our immediate base area. I'm just looking for any resource deposits I marked for a collection. There's another rack here that looks... Oh, look at that. It's plain. Pretty cool. I like it. Okay, we're off to the abyss here. Another rack. We saw that one. Okay, I don't see any more resources marked for harvesting. There might be something out there, but... Hopefully we can get all of our workers transporting materials... We still have stuff to build in the dome. Three houses. That, once these are built, that will actually increase our tax revenue, I believe. Should we pause a couple? I don't think so. I was going to say pause a couple. That way one will get built faster. I don't think that's going to make a huge difference for us. We're down to 1,295 credits. Plastic factory is not getting the sponges it needs. And I believe it's a drone problem. We did upgrade the drone building as much as we could. Next one is in 34 days. Oh man. Food is going down, but we just we just updated it. Let's look and see again how this is going. Okay. Produced on sea snails is 32, and we're only using four, so that should be climbing. Mussels, small fish, sea cucumber. Oh, you know what we could try? Okay, low number of idle drones. Yeah, right. Just talking about this. You require more idle drones. These are unassigned drones that are not tied to a specific workplace, but they do work around your colony on tasks such as transporting goods, constructing, collecting resources. Increase your drone factory production or build an additional one. I know. We only get six per year. 45 electricity. We have just enough electricity if we wanted to put down another drone producer. That'll make the immediate drone situation worse. Let's wait till we get this drone here in 28 days. And then maybe we'll put down another drone factory and kind of double up that production. On the food front, we could try those fields. Let's see. Oh, man. We have these two buildings. Okay, construction cross cost is... Oh, per area. Underwater field. Hmm. I want to see what they said about that in the tech tree. Grants us the ability to build agricultural services that produce seaweed and cucumbers. Just wondering who harvests those. We have greenhouses coming up. Cage must be for maybe fish farming or something. Let's try an underwater field. If a depot or a warehouse is too far away from an underwater field, 
Harvesting the field could take too long. Okay, I've got a depot here. Should we put a field behind this thing? How far will it let us? Ooh, will it let me have an odd shape? It might. Let's try that. See what we get. Fertility 50%. Hmm. Uh, that's fine, I think. And that's not the greatest spot, is it? Hmm. Let's see. Hey, here comes something. What's coming? No idle drones. Load number of idle drones. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're getting something here from HQ, it looks like. Guy's definitely coming down. Let's uh, keep an eye on this and see what we get. How about 20 new drones? <laughs> that would be nice. 20 new drones. Food starting to climb back up, it looks like. Crude oil has bounced back, right? That was at zero. Electricity's okay. Fuel looks to be pretty good. Quick to open the stock panel. Hey, what are you doing? You stealing our stuff? What is this guy? <laughs> what happened? What just happened? Okay, consumption allowed, set the cap. Okay, now we have Room to store 2,500 units. I have no idea what that guy just did. Are you taking my stuff? Trying to zoom in on it. That looks pretty cool, but it clearly took stuff out of my storage, right? Looks like it's kind of slowing down, right? Are you friend or are you foe? Okay, it looks like friend. Looks like we're transporting resources from the remote depot into headquarters here. All right, yeah. Okay. Thought that was like some kind of enemy faction are coming stealing our goods glad to see it's not okay i don't see any exclamation points now food i think is slowly climbing oh yeah we were looking at the field let's do that um if i click this guy in fertile area i'm colorblind i do have colorblind mode turned on so that will help me a little bit so this is a fertile area right and so is this over here hmm this looks like a decent place to put it. Let's plant. Although it's going to step on our gatherer. Let's see. Does this guy have a range? No. This guy does. Let's put... Yeah, let's put a field over here and just see what we get out of that. Underwater field. That's as big as we can go. Fertility, 100%. 57 plastic, we have it. And credits, 115. Not crazy about spending them, but... Ooh, what do I have to do to get this thing to go? Um... Okay. One click, click and drag. Trying to get it to build. Now when I let up, it's not building. I have the resources. Do I not have this researched or something? Yeah, this one is not placing like I'm expecting it to. Click, drag, I'm letting up and it just disappears. Do 
Yeah, I'm not sure. Right click. It's probably something obvious I'm missing. I mean, I don't know if I need to gather up all the stuff that's sitting here first. Could do that. Okay, new people have arrived at your colony. Headquarters sent them to assist us with daily tasks. We got two more people. We'll take them. We need them. Thinking about building another drone factory here in a bit. So we have these resources marked to harvest. I can't seem to place the field. Not happy about that. There might be something I'm missing that's obvious. Okay, I don't see exclamation points. Food is not where I want it. I want this thing like 800 or something. Batteries? Okay, look, we're in the positive on batteries. 47 produced and 20 used. That's good. That's really good. Power's okay. We have upgrades on power too. Let's uh move on the tech tree here. That's all done. Subsurface base two allows a comprehensive upgrade of our subsurface base. The upgraded center will provide 2000 additional credits per year, have a storage capacity of 1500 and increase our maximum influence influence points to five. Oh man, that's a no brainer, right? Has our pretty much all of these. We'll get that research going. I'm running at two times speed. It just gives me time to kind of think. I think we still need drone. Boy, look at our drones go doing their thing. They're carrying over here. The more we have the depots, the more we can leverage this big guy, Bat, this shuttle. So I think this is a really good spot for a depot where we have it in our production area. Let's check the drone count. One idle drone. Yeah, we may still need that second drone factory. But we only have one, <laughs> we only have one idle drone, right? To actually work in that factory. Oh man. I think we need to get that built though. Let's do it. Plastic power is going to be is okay right now. Oxygen is okay. Let's put another drone factory down. There's room for it there. And then we have to wire this guy up to the pipeline. So extend this guy up. Boom. And you connected. Let's see if our houses are getting built. They did. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. House level one. We've got some available housing. Happiness is at 100. Oh, insulation. Fuel upkeep per resident goes down. Oh, where is upkeep? Um, 10 credits and five plastic. Let's do it. Let's get these all upgraded for that. Actually have to do them one by one. Looks like it. Whoops. Click the wrong thing. Yeah. Let's upgrade these. It's not expensive and it'll save us some fuel. Oh, there's the upkeep down below. So. Eight fuel, 10 oxygen on an updated one. And 10 and 10, yeah. So it just saves us a little fuel. This will pay for itself, I believe. That's enough of that for now. 
tab. I have a bunch of resources to harvest here. Okay, we do have a drone doing this thing. And the reason I'm clearing these out is just to see if we can place the field. I could not place the field earlier. Underwater field. Does it need to be next to something? Percentage of operation. Let's look at the tech tree again and see what it says about that field. Grants the ability to build agricultural surfaces that produce seaweed and sea cucumbers. Does this need... Nah, it says underwater. Does it need to be in the dome? I wouldn't think so, but that would explain why it didn't get placed. Let's try it. I No, it needs to be placed on fertile ground. So, probably doesn't even come up as an option, right? Oh, notice that once we're in the dome view, our choices change here. Cool. Cool, cool. Fast food. We don't have any of these unlocked yet. Uh, clothes shop. What does this do? Improves happiness, right? Probably. Your tailor. Upkeep. Electricity, 80. Hmm. Do we need this yet? Oh, man. It's not small. pop it in there. We're going to need it eventually. Okay, let's get out of the dome view, and I think we're going to have to look at ramping up the power at this point. Once those buildings come online, we're going to be in trouble. Uh, production boost, 20% boost. Well, let's do it. 20 credits. We're doing okay on credits. We got plenty of plastic still. This one's going to chew up iron. We have a lot of iron. Let's first do the ones that don't require iron. So we've got surplus power. I think that's going to change, though. I want to put in one more. And I think we're going to get more efficient power options later, too. Thank you. Hmm... Oh, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. Just doing this to plan ahead. Food's still low. Oh man, I'm just not happy about that. It is not climbing. These are not being res harvested fast because we just don't have extra drones. I can't seem to put the field down. Let's try it again. Underwater field. If we look at the grid, this is supposed to all be fertile area. What if I try and place it where we don't have all these sponges? Yeah, it just doesn't seem to want to grab. I'm missing something. I don't see anything in the pop-up. It's probably something obvious. Oh, or is it clipping? Maybe it's the bottom that's clipping. Let's try it again. There we go. Yeah, the bottom was clipping. It may have turned red or something. I'm colorblind, so I... If it was warning me, I didn't see it. But that's awesome. Now we've got this being built. Can we fast forward this? Let's get out of the build menu. Um, now what's going on? Get 
Okay, now can I click this guy? Hmm, I kind of wanted to speed up the construction of this one. Doesn't look like I can. Oh, I got the grid on. Maybe that's the problem. Nope. This one I can't seem to do anything with. I was kind of hoping to speed it up like we pause this one. I was hoping to speed this one up, but doesn't... I'm clicking. Nothing's happening. Okay, there's another transport shuttle bringing resources over. What are we doing? Food's problem. Everything else is looking pretty good. Power's marginal, but we have another turbine about to spin up. Fisherman drone. Yeah, I just don't have drones to do these expansions. Production boost 2 takes... Ooh, tools. That's new. Sponge collectors. Yeah, we're doing great on sponge. We're probably going to need to put down another gatherer's place. It's going to take another drone. Or I could add a worker slot here. Just don't have idle drones. That's our big issue. Be nice if headquarters came came through for us on that. There's our people. Okay. And we're... This is what I want to see. Okay, we have two idle drones. Uh, oh, man. So the workers... I see. The workers can do this kind of stuff. Taylor, so once that store opens up, I think one of these guys will end up being a tailor. I, I These guys can go collect resources, though, right? We saw them walking around in their little underwater uh, suits. Plenty of sponges. Oxygen's marginal. Let's go speed up time a little bit. I guess we can keep chugging through the research tree. Gatherer's prosperity combo. Gatherer's place in proximity of a sponge collector. Sure, I'll take it. Cost is going up on the research now. 150 per. I think I'm going to need to put down another gatherer's place. Just debating, debating whether we should just do this expansion. That would be kind of instantaneous. Let's do it, because food is going down. I don't like it. Not in a colony building game. Food is always critical. Operated by a drone. Operated by a drone. Operated by a drone. Underwater field. We just have to wait for that to get constructed. I guess I'll queue up another gatherer's place. We can maybe put this... Be nice if it fit by this depot. Not quite. There we go. Maybe we'll get a little more food production before we starve our people out. Oh man, batteries are down to nothing. Or no, 129. Luxury items are zero. I thought that was battery zero. Okay, yeah, batteries are good. We're in surplus production. Oil looks great. Fuel looks great. Let's check inventory and see how we're doing in terms of available space. Yeah, we've got a thousand units of inventory space available. Sponges look good. Plastic looks okay. Food's my big concern right now. Like I said, power. Oh, we power did come online and we're still only plus 33. Let's do the production boost on this guy, the cheap one. 
We've got production boosts available for all of them, but it's going to cost iron. And I kind of want to save that iron until we're producing it. So we'll see. We have a second drone factory up. And we can optimize this guy. That's worth doing. Uh, we can optimize again. That one I'm willing to spend the iron on. Gonna save us power, plastic, and credits. Yeah, that's that's worth worth doing for sure. Production boost. Looks like this is not gonna cost um a drone. So let's do the production boost too. Also, I mean. Okay, now we've got a drone in 16 days and a drone in 7 days. That's going to help. Okay, we got a pipeline leaking. Just click it, find it, and repair that. Malfunction rate 29%. Higher socket pressure may increase the chance of malfunction. Oh. So as we scale up these buildings, maybe the chance they fail are gonna is gonna increase. I think that's what that's telling us. All right, let's wrap this episode here. We've got a field being constructed. We added some new houses, and we added a tailor shop. This has someone working already, and hopefully this increases happiness in some way, maybe even revenue. We'll see. We'll have to look deeper at that. We optimized some things. We added some power. We added another drone factory and op did all the upgrades for that guy. We've got 20 drones right now, nine residents. Everything's looking good. Food's my number one concern right now. And you can see we're starting to actually produce basic goods. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, food is our issue. So we'll see if we can get this field built maybe next episode. But yeah, let's pause it here for now. This is GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this series on Aquatico. Very cool game. like the aesthetic. And there's definitely some challenge on just what to prioritize. And we'll get to this. Yeah, we have a low number of idle drones. And we can pick a plant, I guess, for our field. We'll do that next episode. Or let's read this here before we go. Underwater field you've built needs your attention. You need to assign which mariculture will be produced on it and harvested after a year's time. All right. We will do that in the next episode. In fact, we'll pause it right now. Poor Nels Glattercat saying thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.